I time it with a sand glass? You tried to write the course before I call time. I'll give it a try. I'll try one of your courses. Wonderful. Get your horse and I'll set up the stakes. You make time. I'll throw in some of the dress money father gave me. Consider it a donation to the Inquisition. Wait, what? The last course is still set. If you'd like to try again. Wait, what? Oh. I gotta mount my horse. That's my bad. <laughs> okay. I need to set that up. It's as fast as it fucking goes. I feel like I'm so fucking slow! <laughs> eh, eh. Yeah. Easy, Senna. Sienna. How you say that? Really, I gotta get off, doctor. Nicely done. Fancy another race? Yes, let's go. Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stakes straight away. All right, we go left this time. Oh god. Run away from the fucking rip. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm getting shot at? That's bullshit. <sighs> Shit, here's the camp, too. <laughs> That's okay. We got a race to win. Yeah, easy Santa, easy. Nicely done. Fancy another race. What the fuck? There's more. Set up the next course. Great. Go get mounted. I'll put up the stakes straight away. Okay, this is gonna be like a combination of the two, probably. Am I just gonna go the other way now? What the fuck? Oh god. No, go, dude. What the fuck? This is like, uh... This is like, uh, The Witcher 3 horse shit all over again. Who cares, demons? Oh, we're going this way. Uh oh. Yeah. 
The race is on. No, it's not. I go, yeah, I just ran by some demons and some Abari Warhounds. It's fine. Everything's good. Everything's so good. God, I need to go back to camp too. Well, actually, I need to go back to Haven. You've mastered every course I set up. That was some riding. Thanks, Anora. All right, now we gotta go get all these fucking quests here. There's a lot of shit around here. I gotta do. The master doesn't want me handing those refugees weapons until they've got any hope of defending themselves. If you put up a few watchtowers, we'd all have more warning before the next attack. You said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there, I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Sweet. Farewell. <laughs> Definitely not gonna go over to the rifts quite yet. A heartfelt request. Lost. Prize winning Druffalo Druffy. Ran when demons attacked. Last seen in the gully. Reward of found and return to farmstead. A note post on a public board with a simple map showing the general location of the Druffalo and where to return her. Ooh, mosaic piece. Seven of twelve. Mmm, there's stuff over here now. We should get to this camp over here. Wait, um... Yeah, let's get to this. Wait. Yeah, let's get to this camp. <laughs> get this camp set up. I am probably going to clear the winter. Well, I don't know. There's some level 12 stuff here that I am not going to be able to handle. At all. So. <laughs> Jesus, I have so many of those. <laughs> um, okay, we got to go get the whatever this is down over here. Right. Letter in an empty home. Endrin. They're telling everyone to leave until the mages and Templars stop burning everything down. I saw the way the merchants were looking, though. If we just flee, they'll pick our houses clean. I'm taking our little project to the cave in the hills up north. You know the one. I'll be safe there. It'll be safe there until this all blows over. Hessel. Might be a little too high level for me. And we'll go see. Let's go see about what level these are. Well, fuck that, I'm out. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Fuck that shit, I'm out. <laughs> we ain't fucking with that. Uh, not sure what level these guys are over here, but... They're probably gonna be too high one level there, but we'll find out. Um, let's go up there. 
fuck this shit. I'm out. In the saddle. What? Yeah, I already completed that. Fucking. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. The fuck is this goddamn ram, dude? Or druffalo, not ram, whatever. Whatever! I don't know what level these guys are, I can't fucking see. Oh, they're wolves. Pretty sure. <laughs> level 7, easy, dude. Fuck. On the draw now. I can't believe you're scared of magic, Sarah. It's a gift as mundane to me as your bow to you. Surely you see there's nothing to fear in a properly used tool. Tell that to all the proper mages waving their tools in people's faces. There's an image. And the rebel mages? How many proper tools have they raised? That's not. I don't think I can continue. Right, well, I don't care how good you are. Don't cram it where it's not wanted. <laughs> Why is there guys down here? What the fuck, game? Come on, Druffalo, let's go, dude. Apparently there's guys down here I gotta kill now. I don't know where the fuck they came from, but we're charging them. I did not reach him, I don't think that. You fool! Alright, let's get this guy- let's get this Druffle back to his, uh, Mama and Dada. Oh, he's gonna be able to, uh, I hope he can. Cause I ain't going near that fucking- I'm not going near that rift. There's level 12, not gonna deal with it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. You can do it. Yeah, the boy. Right. And I'm just gonna run. Come on. Look at that. Don't follow me up here. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. <laughs> Alright, good. Do I have to bring it? Oh my god, where the fuck over here? Bro, are you coming? Follow the other the other thing with horns, dude. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's blow Lotus here. The other thing with horns, let's go. That's me. Oh, it's off road. I need that. Taking a long way, but that's okay. Dude, where are you going? Here, you dumb animal. I'm right here. Come on. Come on. This way. Good boy. Just can't get too far away, which makes sense. Just wish it was faster than this. Fuck this shit, I'm out. 
book this shit, I'm out. Ugh. Right over here, guy. Right over here. The drop floor is safe. Thank you. I, I appreciate you finding her. And I'll see to it that this never happens again. How are you gonna... Don't know how you're gonna do that, specifically, but... Whatever. I already jumped over. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Alright. Still gonna dodge this. Okay, so that goes over there. Alright, we're gonna go do this now. Trouble with wolves. Feared. Oh, he's on the ground. Ow. I'll just sit here like this. <laughs> no. Never mind. He'll die first. He will die first. I don't really check to see what level these are, so. But I think we're okay. Ah! Seven? Easy. Three of them and Dorian apparently. I don't know how I got Dorian in that, but don't know how I got Dorian in that. Here. Gotta be where the wolves are. I bet they're in the cave. Because wolves are shit and caves are shit. <laughs> I love her reasoning. Like, oh, okay. You know what? Actually. Actually, Sarah. Ow. What the fuck? Hello? Game? Uh oh. <laughs> It's like this probably one, yeah. It's <clears throat> one more stupid wolf. Oh, that's not a wolf. Oh, God, that's go. not a wolf! <laughs> what the fuck? Can you guys, uh, run over here? I'm gonna mighty blow it. are also pleased to be freed from the demon's control. Plus 2% Sunder on hit. Mm, I'm 
maybe. Maybe that's good. I don't fucking know. I gotta, I gotta search the rest of this place though. Now I gotta get up, which is easy enough. I'm gonna search everything on the ground first. What the fuck? Mosaic piece. Oh, it's F. F is to loot. Nice. Forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, it's up. Okay, I think it's time to go up now. Race. Oh, I didn't. I gotta look to upgrade my uh, potions when I go back, which is gonna be <laughs> really soon here. Ring of flanking. Oh, that'll be good for uh, coal right away. Okay, so instead. Uh, oh wait, what? Wait, what the fuck? <gasps> wait, what? Search the northern hill. Oh. Wait, what? Eh. Hmm? What am I looking for for this one? What if the fighting to a cave in the northern hill? Secret project in tow. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Solus, how do you say excuse me in Elvin or whatever? For you, it would be Ara Saranama. It is coincidence that your name is within. The base form is common. Thanks. And now when I don't say it, you'll know it's on purpose. <laughs> the fuck is this thing? Am I just missing it? This is. This is the cave, right? Now this is the cave. Hmm. Gotta be in here, right? Did it, or is it glitched? It's gotta be glitched, right? I think, oh no, I think it's glitched. Fuck. is it <laughs> okay didn't know that was it <sighs> what does she have on right now um you know what we will do this give her an extra set of all right so let's go back and tell Let's go back and do this one. Can I fast travel here? Nope. <sighs> Nothing 
nothing to report, sir. I gotta go to the bathroom. And then we'll go back to Haven. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. Stopped them. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. No problem. Hey. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom, so... I will be right back. Go grab a snack and drink. Whatever you need to. And I will be right back. Give me like five minutes.
Okay, okay. Here we are. I am back. Let's uh level these guys up. <laughs> I feel like I should get more. What? Gotta do that one, actually. <laughs> Pretty good, I feel like. She hasn't... No, she didn't level up yet. I don't know why she hasn't been able to level up, but... Whatever. Oh, yeah, sorry, we're getting this one. Very bonus fit. Oh. We're now, and then we can start getting him some cold damage stuff too now. Oh, that's right. I was going back to Haven. Going back to Haven. We are full up on uh, items. I do need to talk to my people, don't I? Let's probably do that. Go through all their talking options. We'll start with the outside people. Was there something you needed? Why would Templars break away from the Chantry? The Order believes the Chantry no longer supports their efforts. Not to the extent they should. Hello. Can you speak up? But the Templars have served the Chantry for ages. In that time, I can't even fucking hear him. Services for granted. Templars risk their lives against blood magic, demons, abominations, to feel as if those efforts are dismissed. Now, I may disagree with the Order's actions, but I'm here as proof of that. But I sympathize with their frustrations. Are you with anyone? <laughs> Is there anything I should know? I'm glad to have the charges on our side. Bull's men are professionals, despite evidence to the contrary. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? What do you think of our ambassador? We have little in common. How she delights in meeting with nobles all day is beyond me. Yeah, that man, that's way beyond me, beyond me too. <laughs> How do you like working with Liliana? The Inquisition would not exist without her. I may not always agree with her methods, but she's more passionate about our cause than anyone. Cassandra may have declared the Inquisition publicly. Liliana is just as responsible for its formation. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? <laughs> our numbers are small, but they suit our needs for the time being. Some Templars have joined oh, us right in the face. following the order. Huh. And you'd think they, like, hey, he, he's gonna hit you in the face! He's gonna hit you in the face! Oh, he didn't dodge it that time, man. One of these times, maybe he'll dodge it. Right, right here? Nope, still gets hit by it. I should let you get back to work. No, what the fuck? Was there something you needed? I'd like to know more about the Templars. What would you like to know? No, oh, cheapers. What does Templar training involve? There is weapon and combat training. Even without their abilities, Templars are among the best warriors in Thavis. Initiates must also memorize portions of the Chant of Light, study history, and improve their mental focus. Did you enjoy your training? If I was giving my life to this, I would be the best Templar I could. You were a model student. <laughs> I wanted to be. I wasn't always successful. Watching a candle burn down while reciting the chant of transfigurations wasn't the most exciting task. And I admit, my mind sometimes wanted. Do Templars take vows? I swear to the Maker to watch all the mages. That sort of thing? There's a vigil first. You're meant to be at peace during that time, but your life is about to change. When it's over, you give yourself to a life of service. That's when you're given a filter. Your first draft of Lyrium and its power. As Templars, we are not to seek wealth or acknowledgement. Our lives belong to the Maker and the path we have chosen. Do the Templars do anything besides hunt mages? Templars protect against the dangers of magic. Before the Order left the Chantry, that meant serving in a circle. 
They were also tasked with tracking apostates or fighting demons inevitably summoned by the weak or malicious. You've made it clear that you consider mages a threat. Any mage can be. I won't pretend otherwise. I've seen the suffering magic can inflict. Yeah, Dragon Age Origins. With distrust because of it. At times without cause. That was unworthy of me. I will try not to do so here. Good. Not that I want mages moving through our base completely unchecked. We need safeguards in place to protect people, including mages, from possession of the beast. Why did you join the Order? I could think of no better calling than to protect those in need. I used to beg the Templars as our local chantry to teach me. At first, they merely humored me. I must have shown promise, or at least a willingness to learn. The Knight Captain spoke to my parents on my behalf. They agreed to send me for training. I was 13 when I left home. <laughs> Jesus. 13. It's still so young. I wasn't the youngest there. Some children are promised to the order at infancy. Still, I Damn. didn't take on full responsibilities until I was 18. The order sees you trained and educated first. What about your family? Did you miss them? Of course. But there were many my age who felt the same. We learned to look out for one another. You've lived in the circle. What was a typical day for a Templar there? I gotta get a haircut again soon. Ah. <laughs> the last time I was in a circle was right before it fell apart. Nothing was typical. Before that, then. <laughs> rituals require a full guard. A mage's herald, for instance. I've attended a few. Most of the time, you merely maintain a presence on patrol or in the circle, ready to respond if needed. Mages pretend to ignore that presence, but they're watching you just as closely. Do Templars and mages never speak to each other? Some do, but Templars are supposed to maintain a certain distance from their charges. If a mage is possessed or uses blood magic, you must act quickly, without hesitation. Your judgment cannot be clouded. Of course, ignoring one another does nothing to foster understanding. That's all I wanted to know. Thank you. Another time, then. Nope. Was there something you needed? Yeah, I just gotta do this thing. I should get to know you better. We're working together, after all. What would you like to know? All right. Uh, where are you from? What? How to act Ferelden? My esteemed Lady Sidonia. Adject my failure as tutor results. Okay. I grew up in Ferelden near Hongman. Where did that come from? transferred to Kirkwall shortly after the blight. This is the first I've returned in almost ten years. Varric's from Kirkwall. Did you two know each other? I knew he was friends with the champion of Kirkwall, but little else. We've spoken more since I joined the Inquisition, largely at Barrett's insistence. Apparently, I spend too much time with a serious expression for her face, and it's bad. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Varric, all right. You haven't seen Ferelden in ten years. Are you glad to be back? <sighs> I was not sorry to leave at the time. I did not expect to return. Now, between the Divine's murder and the breach, I've arrived to find nothing but chaos. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. Did you fight Darkspawn? No. I was stationed at Ferelden's Circle Tower. The Circle had troubles of its own. I remained there during the Blight. What happened at the Circle Tower? Oh, you know. People who survived the Blight have fond memories of that time. I would prefer not to speak to you. What was Kirkwall like? While I was there, Canari occupied and then attacked the city. Viscount's murder caused political unrest. Relations between mages and Templars fell apart. And the whole state blew up the Chantry. And the Knight Commander went mad. Yeah, shit went. Uh, shit went south fast in Kirkwall. What between Kirkwall's mages and Templars? You were at the Conclave. You must have heard people speak of it. Yes, but you were there. There was tension between mages and Templars long before I arrived. Eventually, it reached a breaking point. There was fighting in the streets. Abominations began killing both sides. It was a nightmare. What happened then? The Templars should have restored order. Red Lyrium had driven Knight Commander Meredith mad. She threatened to kill Kirk Wall's champion. Turned on her own men. I'm not sure how far she would have gone. Too far. So you opposed her? I stood with the champion against her in the end. Yeah. I should have seen through Meredith sooner. 
Okay. I'll let you return to your work. Another time, then. He definitely did stand with me. Greetings. Hello. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not Oh, that's to right. She doesn't want to talk about him. Another time, perhaps. Hey, this is a little louder, at I'll least. I'll let you get back to work. Nope. Greetings. Mm. Can you tell me more about the Seekers? The Seekers of Truth were born from the original Inquisition long ago, when it united with the Chantry. Seekers stood above the Templars, watching over them, but also investigating magical events they couldn't handle. We were meant to be incorruptible, above reproach. How seldom does reality match the ideal? Very seldom there, uh... Why did your order turn against the Chantry? We originally united with the Chantry through a treaty that stated they would keep mages under control. It was felt Most Holy had tacitly allowed the Circle of Magi to vote on its independence, thus breaking the treaty. The Seekers saw themselves as justified, and they led the Templars into a war of righteousness. You sound like you disagree. We knew what was happening at Kirkwall, where the Mage Rebellion began. We looked into reports of Knight Commander Meredith's harsh treatment of her charges years earlier. Yeah. But we found so many shocking cases of magical corruption, it was decided her actions were justified. If we'd been there when it happened, if we'd looked harder at the root causes, You seem to care a great deal about it. Too much, if you ask the rest of my order. When faced with a problem, the Seekers would close ranks. Yeah, because I, I think the mages... Would find an answer, but I think they deserve a chance at freedom, but... The moment the mages voted for independence... I'm not going to be one of the ones like, Oh, every... Oh, the mages... Like, difficult be super outspoken about it, so... That's why I chose to say, Oh, you care deeply about it instead of mages should be free. <laughs> What are Seekers, exactly? Those who know anything of us think we are Templars. We do not use Lyrium, however. Our abilities are different, as was our original purpose. We disciplined the Templars and were accountable only to the Divine. And not even her, truthfully. Gee. <laughs> but yeah, who watched you then? So nobody ever watched over the Seekers. It was the Divine's duty. But she could only do so much when the truth was hidden from her. The Templars have always feared us. When a Seeker arrived at a circle, they knew trouble was <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that kind of power is troubling. You begin to think you are the only one who can solve the world's problems. If you don't see a problem, it doesn't exist. If someone insists it does, they are the blind ones. Do you think that kind of problem could ever be fixed? Possibly. Though the Seekers themselves would need to change. They were clearly not willing to, even though they abandoned everything they stood for to avoid it. In my heart, I believe they can still be salvaged, but not by their own hands. You mentioned that Seekers have different abilities than Templars. Entirely. A Templar's abilities come from Lyrium and are designed to hunt mages. Ours come from ritual and many years of dedicated training. Okay. We cannot be possessed by demons and are immune to mind control. Useful considering Whoa, our Whoa, what? Seekers can gain other gifts, so that depends on the individual. That's insane. What kind of gifts do you have? I can set delirium within a person's blood aflame. Both mages and templars bend before my will. What? <laughs> Some seekers use it to interrogate. Others simply to paralyze. That's insane. Once there was a seeker who could use it to kill. <laughs> That particular gift is considered rare. Two. Holy shit, that's OP. Most seekers begin training in their youth. I was much older, an exception due to my noble birth. We train rigorously for years. Our bodies and minds must be elastic to undergo the vigil, and most fail even then. Is the vigil some kind of initiation? It is the rite every seeker must go through in order to summon their gift. A full year of fasting, prayer, and separation from all distractions, including Holy other people. Fuck. We empty ourselves of all emotion, focusing only on the purity of our devotion. And the moment it finally ends, it's wonderful. 
faith realized. I cannot put it into words. Was it some kind of magic? I don't fully understand it, to be honest. If the vigil was not so arduous, I'd say more should attempt it. What if mages never needed to fear possession by demons? Ah, oh, that'd be great. I'm told it is impossible, however. I suppose I'll never know the truth of it now. I've no more questions. Yeah, I do. Do you need something? Uh, she won't tell me about her brother, so... May I ask you about the Chantry? It is difficult to say what becomes of the Chantry now. They have no Templars, no leadership, and no one left who is worthy of succeeding the Divine. It has fallen apart when everyone needs it the most. I ache to think what this will mean in the days to come. Will the Chantry replace Divine Justinia? They will try. Once the priests withdraw for the Grand Consensus, it is against Chantry law for them to emerge without naming a new Divine. Sometimes it takes days, or weeks, or even months. Two, three, no maybe five. The to Justinia exists. All worthy clerics died with her at the conclave. So what happens if they can't agree on someone? Theoretically, they will argue until exhaustion takes them or they see reason. <laughs> Practically, however, if the grand consensus goes on too long, the Chantry will crumble. Any cleric with ambition but little sense will see this as her one chance, and plenty of such clerics exist. We shall see what happens. The Inquisition must act in the meantime. Yeah, we're definitely going to. If they do choose a new divine, will you serve her? That depends on whether she would have me. I am a rebel now, remember? And even if she would, I do not know. It would depend on what type of divine she is. I am no longer in a position to follow blindly. And no new divine could expect such obedience now. What influence does Chancellor Roderick really wield? He's a bureaucrat, responsible for communicating the divine's will to the rest of the Chantry. Therefore, he's accustomed to the clerics hanging on his every word, hoping his influence will benefit them. Despite that, Roderick is not a bad man. He's frightened, and believes his place is to fill the gap left by Most Holy's death. Some might agree. Okay. As far down the chain of command as he is, there is no one left above him. <laughs> There's no. Oh, that's. How great. big a problem could he be? No more than he is already. He sent his message to the College of Clerics. That is the only card he had to play. Dealing with him further only lends him credibility he doesn't deserve. Do you really believe the Chantry is worth preserving? I do. Though I understand how someone born outside of human society might think otherwise. Cast the Chantry aside and new problems replace old ones. We will have learned nothing from history. The people need... Yeah, that history, sounds about right, the though. The Chantry needs a new purpose. Andraste had a dream for us. It can still be achieved. So what should that new purpose be? A Save the world! ...to what is truly important. Instead of building cathedrals and oh, we're talking about for the divine, the Chantry, the Chantry used to spend its coin feeding the poor. If we are to spread the Maker's word across the world, we must do so with open hearts and open hands. So I do remember that you can either make Cassandra or Liliana the new divine. It's it important to, uh... Of you. Does it? I do not think it's so unachievable. The Chantry has many good, honest people. They just need direction and inspiration. They need to be freed from centuries of adherence to tradition. It's important to pay therapy. attention to what their the ideals are. Renewal is at our fingertips. It does not have to come with utter chaos. I'm surprised you rebelled against the Chantry. I left my own order when they took the wrong path. It is no different. But in neither case did I stop caring. Indeed, I care so much that I feel drastic action is necessary. I suppose history shall one day judge my actions. Yeah, because I sure shit ain't. Okay, I think that's all I needed to talk yes. with her. Yep. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Right. But I should probably get going for now. Um, I'll come back. Uh, I'll be back in uh, probably a couple hours. I'm going to go to my chiropractor appointment, stop by the store, pick up a few things, and eat a little bit. And then I should be uh, 